What's going on everyone? It is Joe Lawnmower, and I've been waiting for this video for a while now. This right here is permanent LED lighting or otherwise known as permanent Christmas lights. I have, I can have them up year round guys. I can change it to whatever color I want. The Phillies just advanced to the NLCS. You can see I got the red, white, and blue going. So stick around, let me show you how I did it. So a couple videos ago, I put a video out there showing you all about commercial lighting. This right here around this window in front of my house. And this is great. If you don't want to do what I'm about to show you, commercial lighting is the way to go. You can take, you can put it up, you can take it down. You don't have to keep it up all year round. But what, wouldn't it be great just to leave up your Christmas lights year round and just change the colors for all the different holidays? Permanent LED lighting is awesome. Like, you, like I said, you can change it for any holiday. And the controller that I bought comes pre-flash with a program called WLED. WLED is an open source LED, obviously LED program. There are a hundred effects on there. I'm, there. It's unlimited what you can do. And I'll show you in a little bit the different designs that I did for Halloween and what you can do for Christmas, Valentine's Day, uh, sports teams. I did. I have one program for my birds and, and for the Phillies. I mean, it's endless what you can do with permanent LED lighting. So as you can see here, I'm underneath my Eve right here, and this is actually just J channel, guys. This is basic white vinyl J channel that you can get at Home Depot or Lowe's. Mm -hmm. uh, the hardest part is obviously drilling these holes. Uh, there's a ton of holes. They are two inch spaced apart. I'm going to show you a little template that my work was very. I'm very fortunate not enough to work from a company that we have CNC machines, and they were able to mill something for me. But you could easily come up with a template here. There's a bunch of people online that have come up with templates for J channels for this right here, this type of lighting. Again, they are two inch spaced apart from hole to hole, center of hole to hole, two inches apart. And then I'll show you the lights. These lights are super cool. So this is the J channel right here. Obviously it's white. That's what's readily available at Home Depot or Lowe's. You could probably order in different si uh, colors, obviously, if you have different color siding, eaves, whatever. Obviously you would, there'd be some kind of shipping time with that. But if you, if you have white eaves like I do, it's super simple. Just go there. They come in lengths of up to 12 feet. So it's really long. I only needed about six of them to cover my area. But as you can see here, this is the holes right here that I drilled. And this template right here that my, I'm so thankful the, the guys in my machine shop at my work put made this on our CNC machine. What they did was is they made like a little groove right there you can see. So as you can see, it just sits right there on that J channel. And you could line up the holes and then from there I got a drill bit that's just exactly 12 millimeters. And then there I just went zoom, zoom, zoom right down the line. And then I was able to just slide this down, line up the holes and just keep going down. This is just a little example of one of the ones that I did. Now, obviously you could drill the holes here. You could drill the holes here, depending on how you're going to hang them on your eaves is that's all that's really going to matter. Some part of my house, I had to drill them in the front and then another part I had to drill them on the bottom. That's totally up to you guys, but that, that's what worked for me in my two different areas. Once you have your holes drilled, obviously you need lights to put inside of the J channel. And that's what I have right here. These are RGB pixels. What's great about these pixels right here, as opposed to LED strips, is that each one of these are individually addressable. And what I mean by that is, is if I want this one to be red and this one to be blue and this one to be yellow and the green and so forth, I can do that. That is what's awesome about pixels as opposed to LED strips. LED strips, a lot of people have them on the back of their TV for some ambiance, you know, when it comes to watching TV and things like that. You can't individually address those. Those, these pixels right here, that's, that's the key right here. That's why I call, that's why it's called permanent LED Christmas lighting because you can change these to any color you want any pattern you want it's just awesome so as you can see here i can take my pixel now and then i can just feed it into the hole and the key there is if you can get a drill bit with about that 12 millimeter sizing these pixels will just fit in there perfectly as you can see right there they fit perfect right in there and you just keep feeding it down the line obviously you have your connector here and then from here you can connect this to your line to go to your controller i'll show you the controller here in a second but that's basically the the best basically what it really comes down to that's all you're doing you're drilling holes in your j channel you're putting in the pixels 
and then from there you're gonna have to hang them onto your house so j channel you'll you'll typically see it around like say your garage door or the window casing around your house something like that uh, you know, J-Channel, it's, it's it's cheap, it's affordable, it's vinyl, you know, it, that's what they put around on vinyl siding. Now, I have aluminum siding here, so mine's, you know, it's older. So on the newer housing, newer model housing and newer vinyl siding, you'll see that. Again, it's a, it's about 7 or $8 for about the 12 foot long channel. Now they do sell a metal tracking, it's called Permatrack. Dr. Z's, he sells that on his site. Um, yeah, I'll leave that link below. Not a not affiliate link, of course, but um, it's a, it's a, it's it's more expensive, guys. And to be honest, and I mean, if that's the the, the rate, you know, the, if you want an easier assembly, and the the holes are already pre-drilled, that's your way to go. Permatrack is your way to go. Again, he sells out a lot. It's very popular right now. So go check it out. If you don't want to drill the holes, go check out the Permatrack in the link below. So I'm back up on the ladder now. I want to show you the J channel and show you the two different positions that I had to do the drilling the holes. As you can see here on this J channel, this is on the bottom of the J channel. So as you could see, I'll put it up underneath of here. As you could see here, I screwed everything up underneath of here. And again, you can see the lights, they're just filtered, you know, just inserted right in there, nice and tuck. And it's really, when you look at it from here, you don't even notice it. And honestly, you don't even notice the lights during the daytime. Now, if those wires really bothered you, them sticking out here, I mean, you could tuck them in a little bit more. For me, it doesn't bother me. I mean, you could put something, you know, if you wanted to, you could even put another piece of J channel on there and cover it up. I mean, to me, that's a little over the top, but if you wanted to, you can. And again, you can see these lights, they just fit right in there, nice and snug. So this piece of J channel, I did it on the bottom. This piece here, and then over there, at that window behind me, same thing. Now in the front of my house, I had to do it a little bit different. So I'm up on the front of my house now, and as you can see, I made a connection here with a pigtail. That's an X connector, it's waterproof. I recommend that, I'll show you that here in a little bit. But as you can see here up on this J channel, again, I had to do it a little bit different here. This way it's tucked up underneath. I really don't have like an eave under in the front of my house. So I had to do it a little bit different here as opposed to drilling the hole like I showed you underneath of here before. I drilled it in the front and I just tucked it up under there. And then you can see these are just regular sheet metal self tapping screws. They go right into the, your siding and then it's up there. It's not gonna come down. It's nice and secure. This J channel, man, it's, it's a neat look. It's super easy. The pixels fit in there. You leave it up. Once you get to put it up there one time, you never have to take them down. And then on the front of the house here, you could see I did the same thing right above me as I, as I did over here on this side. It's just, look, I mean, it's a very seamless, very clean look. Just one connection up there because we are going from one roof line to the next again. I use an X connector, waterproof tight seal. You do have to no, do you have to be a little somewhat good with soldering. I'm gonna highly recommend you to Dr. Z's channel. He helped me a lot. He has a Discord. His content is like it's awesome. I mean, if if you want to watch a step to st step by step process, I'm just kind of give you guys guys an overview of what I did. But if you want to watch an, uh, a step, like I said, a step by step process, go check out his channel. Again, once these are up there, I'm not taking them down. So inside the garage now is where I have my controller box. This is where the magic happens, right in this box right here. But first, as you can see, I strung a 18-3 wire. This is just plain old 18-3 LED wire. Again, 18 gauge means three wires in there, 18-3. As you can see, I strung it down the top of my garage door here into the controller box. So let me show you the controller box and what's going on in here. So here we have the controller box. Here is the power supply. It's a 12 volt, 30 amp power supply. Down here, we have our controller. This is what makes the magic happen. This is a called a DigiQuad controller. It has an external antenna, as you can see here, so it has better control or Wi-Fi capability. Everything is just, basically this computer chip right here in the middle is what the WLED gets flashed on, but it comes pre-installed, so you don't have to worry about it. This side right here, this is your positive and this is your negative coming from your power supply. And then on the other side here, this is what's feeding out to the various lines. What's cool about the DigiQuad is, is you can add up to five different channels or five different outputs. So if you have to do any kind of power injection, you can feed right off of here. 
Uh, obviously, I have mine right here. I have I got a black and a black. Your data's in the middle. Your power's over here. This is your positive. And then over here is your ground. As you can see, here's the LED wire. One's going out to my arches out front, and then one is feeding directly to the actual line that's on my house going into the J channel. This thing is just awesome. It's, it's very affordable, believe it or not, if you can get it in stock. So what I do is I just stick this up into here and then I can just close this off so it's out of the elements. I do a lot of saw uh, work in here, a lot of woodwork. So nothing's gonna get dusty. Everything is nice in this box, secure. And that's it. So obviously you watch this video for one reason and that is to see it actually work. So let's switch to nighttime so we can show you guys. It's nighttime, guys, now, and I have my Halloween playlist playing. Of course, we are in October, obviously. Eventually, I'll transition over to Christmas. But for now, I have my presets that I have uh, selected for my Halloween. I have a bunch of different patterns. But right now, I have this just to give you guys an example of the data line. What's so awesome about that WLED app, as you can see here right behind me, that green line is going up and it's going across and it's finishing at the end of my garage over there. My data line is actually coming in at my garage there. But what's awesome is the WLED app is you can reverse the data flow so instead of having it flow from here across the house i can have it start at the far end and go across and end over there one of the great features of wled app so just to give you guys an idea of how many pixels i have on my house i have about 400 doing the outline of my house there is about 50 on one arch and 50 on the other the length of my house from the garage and up across here and then up across over here is about 65 feet so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to bring up the WLED app on the screen so you guys can see what I'm doing. I'm going to stand about right here just so you guys can see about everything that's going on, the different flows and different things like that. So I have the WLED up app, app up right now. I'm going to th start uh, recording my screen so you guys can see it. So this, this, this is what's going to look like when it first comes up. You have your color codes here, and in the middle there, you're going to see you have a hex code option. So what you can do is, is you can go on Google, you can get any pretty much any team color you want out there. You can find their colors, and you can actually plug it in. So for instance, if, if I come over here, I got to have my birds on there. Go birds, right? Six and oh. If I put on Eagles washing machine, Click on a button, right there I got my Eagles colors going. This is actually the old school Kelly Green color. As you can see, it's got a really cool effect. The, the washing machine, how it goes across like that, it stops and it'll continue to go. So that's just one of the one of the things you can do. And then of course, the Phillies, they're in the NLCS right now. I have a playlist specifically just for the Phillies. And then there, there you go, I got red, white, and blue right there going for the Phillies. Pretty awesome, isn't it? And as you can see, as I'm scrolling through here, I have a bunch of different presets going for uh, you know other things. What you do first is you want to set your preset, and then what you want to do is under the effects is you can go to any effect that you want. So for instance, if I want to go to a chase, I can go to a chase. And then if you want to change the colors, it's just as easy to go back to your colors and say I don't want that red anymore and I want like say a pink. I can go and select a pink color. Now it's going to be a pink, white, and blue. And then if I want to make it pink, white, and pink, Again, I can just switch it to pink, white, and pink. Pink. So we are in Breast Cancer Awareness Month. It's October. So if you want to have a nice, you know, pink theme, you can have that as well. You can change the effect to whatever you want, and preset it as a preset and keep going. Mischief knife this year, and you want to hit a preset of police. You can have a preset for the police. <laughs> Check that out. Isn't that pretty cool? And my arches out here are all synced to that as well, as you can see. And the house is synced with it as well. So as you can see there on the top of the WLED, I have my playlist. Right now, I only have two playlists. I have a Phillies and I have a Halloween one. So if I want to click on the Halloween one, I can click on the Halloween one. It's going to transition to here. This, pre uh, this effect actually is called Lake. I think it's pretty cool. It kind of simulates like a water flowing back and forth. So I was talking about times and macros earlier. Under the configuration setting, you can go to times and macros. And if you scroll down, you have a preset option there where you can plug in a preset and set it to a certain time. It is military time. That's what I have mine set to. Very easy to figure out military time. If, it, if you can't, just Google military time. But for me, I have mine come on at 6.30, the Halloween playlist right now because we're in October. And then at about 10.30, I have it shut off. And then I have a, something really cool come on for the rest of the night. It's like a little accent light. So let me show you that. So under my presets, back at my presets, like I was saying, at about 1030, the Halloween comes off. And then what I have come on is this feature right here. It's 18 by 
15. So as you can see here, 18 lights are on, 15 are off, 18 are on, 15 are off. I have that all the way across. It's just more of like an accent lighting, like a little like kind of security lighting in a way. And that's what's all awesome about these pixels, guys. Because these pixels are individually addressable, I can easily address each one. So for instance, you go under segments here, and then if you go under this segment right here, you can see here, I have it stop at 391, I have a group 18 together, and then 15 is the spacing. For instance, if I wanna switch this, this grouping to say five together, I can go and tap in five, I can hit apply, and now five are together. So right now, five are on, there's 15 are off and then five on. So I could even do something like this. And you can do this with colors as well. I have mine as white right now. Uh, it's like a, almost like a warmish white, but you can do whatever you want, guys. You can program one red, one green. You could do some red, some green, some blue. You could do, it's, I mean, it's, it's li like I said, it's limitless, like what you can do. I mean, there's so many different colors. Being individually addressable, it gives you so much uh, control and, it's just awesome such a great customization this WLED app so again the the controller comes flash with WLED or you can flash it yourself and then from there you could just go to town so just to give you guys what Christmas would look like this is Christmas colors red and green obviously I'm a big fan of red and green when it comes to Christmas this effect right here is actually called beats per minute and then if I wanted to go to a chase I can go to a chase I mean, th these effects, you can see I'm scrolling through here right now just to give you guys an idea. There are a ton of effects. Actually, one of my favorite, and this was this is great for, obviously, 4th of July. It's called Fireworks 1D. Check this out. It shoots across like that, and it just disperses. It's, it's a pretty cool effect. I can't wait to use this for 4th of July. And again, you can use this for any holiday, guys. It's so customizable. Sports teams, Valentine's Day, Easter, Christmas, obviously, Halloween, you name it. Whatever holiday you want, whatever color you want, you can do it right in the WLED app. So cost breakdown. For me, everything, including just doing the roof lines, not including the arches, cost me a little over $300. Now the controller is about forty to fifty dollars. That's the Digi Quad controller. That's the one that gives you the multiple outputs. That's about forty to fifty dollars. There are three versions of that. There's one with an Ethernet. There's one with an external antenna, and then the third one is just a just a regular Wi-Fi. Doesn't have any external antenna or not. So again, I think that's very affordable for a controller. I priced out a couple other companies just to give me an idea what it would cost. And one of the companies, I believe it was either Jellyfish or Tri-State Lights, the controller alone, just a controller and no lights, was $600. It's a lot of money just for a controller. Now, don't get me wrong. They have an app that's already pre-built uh, for you. You can download it on the App Store for those two different, con uh, those two, two different companies. Again, $600 for a controller when you can just download the WLED app. It's an open source free program. And you're saving, you know, it's only forty to fifty dollars for that DigiQuad controller. Does it require you probably with a little bit more knowledge of wiring and things like that? Yes, but you're saving a ton of money when it comes to that. So if this is something that you're interested in doing, again, go check out Dr. Z's channel. Again, he, is a, he has a ton of step-by-step -step guides that you can follow. If you have any questions for me, leave it down in the comment section below. If you're interested in me doing a more in-depth video on how I did this, I today I kind of just wanted to summarize what I did. Um, I didn't want to do anything step-by-step -step because I literally watched someone else and that's how I learned. So I don't want to come off like I learned this myself or I, you know, I, I came up with this idea myself. I did not. Dr. Z's again, go check out his channel. He's gonna help you a ton. If you found today's video helpful or if you enjoyed today's video, make sure you smash that like button. It really does help out with the channel. And if you're interested in any of my other content, I'm available on Instagram, I'm available on TikTok. Go check me out there. I have a couple videos of showing this and the different effects for the Phillies and Halloween. So if you wanna go check out even more footage of the, the different effects in my house, go check it out on there. And like always guys, I'll see you in the next one. Mm -hmm.